Yeah, hi, it's Martin here from Design For You. And in this very quick video, we're going to actually look at creating our board covers for our Pinterest boards. So as you can see, I've done one here that uh, sits nicely. And as you can see, all these other boards are all a bit of a mishmash of various different things. So to make your boards look really professional and um, obviously optimized and so people can actually see what the board is um, without really looking at the description below, um, we are then going to create these board covers. So let's uh, take the blogging tips for beginners one here and we're going to go and create a similar board cover to this one. OK, so we're going to use a site uh, called Canva. If you've ever used Canva before, um, it's a great site for creating uh, loads of different social media posts and that sort of thing. Uh, so you've got Facebook covers, Twitter posts, Instagram, uh, Pinterest uh, images. Um, in there as well so you can create those but you can also create stuff which has got a custom dimensions with our um, pin cover we're actually going to use uh, a template here that I've already done and created the last one on and this template is actually 340 pixels by 340 pixels okay so it's a total square and um, fits lovely as you can see in the Pinterest board covers so we just need to create this and if we, I want mine all to look very similar so I can use the same background, same style lettering. I've used two different uh, fonts here. I wouldn't use any more than two. And I've obviously had a background image there which I've just faded out to give it a little bit of depth. So we just want to go and create this other board uh, which is blogging tips for beginners. So we click on our lettering here and I just want to adjust this and add in tips which is great. And then underneath, uh, we're gonna put in the other script writing. We can just get rid of that and we can put for beginners, okay? And then we can drag that up and just make it a bit more central. Okay, so that's it. If we wanted to change this background image, we could, we could highlight it and then just delete the background image. So that just gives us our blank um, actual background just move that down slightly and then we can go to the uploads here and I've got some more images that I could actually add in if I needed to let's just have a look say something like um, this with the actual computer in the background we can just uh, make it go a bit bigger so we and then centralize it and then what we'll do we'll arrange so we'll take it to the back OK, and then what we're going to do is just transparency it down to about 20. Just so you've got that highlighted background. And there you go. Something simple like that. OK, and then all we need to do is hit the download button and download it in as a PNG, which is the recommended file. OK, so that's downloaded. So now we head over to our Pinterest account. So as you can see here, we now need to upload it. So if we click on our plus sign and upload we're going to grab our image which will be in our downloads so we look so we can grab him there it is blogging tips for beginners highlight it add it in and then i would put um your url in here and it's this general one so i just put slash the blog click continue and then we can add in our description here. So for SEO purposes, we can add in um, login tips for beginners. Here we go. And we'll add it to our blogging tips for beginners board, which is this one here. OK, so that's been added. And now we've got to do is actually add it to as our board cover. So we just refresh the page. OK, let's uh, scroll down, hit on the boards and then hit edit and then cover where it says cover. Just hit the change button. And as you can see, it's the last image we actually uploaded. So that doesn't matter if you can't see it all because that square is the actual overall um, size of it. And that just gives you a way of centralizing what you need. You can move it around if you need to. But if you do the. Uh, 340 by 340 you shouldn't have to actually change that just click on save changes 
and that should be changed. So let's just hope that has happened. Let's just refresh again and go to our profile, go to our boards, and let's just scroll down. And there we go. As you can see, we have now have our board cover, which says blogging tips for beginners. So there we go. There's a quick video of how you can create those and have them all really, really nice and branded uh, in your colors for your website, etc. And that people can see straight away what the board is about. OK, so there you go. Uh, if you love this video, then obviously then just um, share the video and like it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel right now where we've got uh, more videos coming up on obviously blogging, digital marketing, all that sort of thing, web design and all loads of tips and tricks for you. OK, that's it. Uh, we will see you on the next video. OK, bye for now. If you like this video and want to continue your learning, then please subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on me. Just follow the arrow. It's very simple. Don't forget, I also love to hear from you, so please leave your comments below. Until the next video, take care.